about it. <laughs> all right. Never heard about it. You guys all ready? Okay. <laughs> Never heard of it before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the day store. We thank you for joining us. And, uh, is there anything else to add to that, or is that about it? Thanks for joining us for another episode. All right, so, the, uh, and this will be posted, because we're out of backlog videos, this will be posted around this time frame. Uh, yeah, it is, be. it is in October now. Uh, Halloween is about two weeks away. And, what's, is something gonna happen on Halloween? I feel like it's a special Halloween. Now, we're, we're kind of just not really Halloween. <laughs> Want to elaborate on this? Well, something spooky is definitely going to happen. <laughs> yes. So this is this is the Blue Mountain Barrel House Spooky Ale brewed with pumpkin flavor and cocoa nibs and aged in bourbon barrels from Arrington, Nelson County in Virginia, our home state. Two of our home state. It's to 8.2 percent alcohol by volume, uh, 22 IBUs. So I'll read a little bit off the back here. What did you say was the percentage? 8.2. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a new brewery apparently opening next year in Warrington. They brought they bought out like a whole block of like old really? town Warrenton. Oh, weird because there's one yeah. called Ornery that, that just opened there. Now we I went saw there. some article yeah. about it today on Facebook. Hmm. This thing is in there good. tight. Oh, that's yeah. what she said. <laughs> and when this is what we all did. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's oh, it's really tight. <laughs> oh, stop! Just tell me when it's gonna explode. <laughs> oh, oh, not as much as I thought. Yeah, I was <laughs> kind of weak. <laughs> I was expecting more. I... That's it. <laughs> My hair was stuck to you. So this is uh spooky, spooky. Uh, I'm pouring. Yeah, cocoa nib something. <laughs> Cocoa nibs? <laughs> Never hoid them. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Never hoid them. Was that from Space Jam? Nope. Never hoid them. I maybe. I don't know where the hell. I don't know why the hell I'm it saying it, but it's like funny. Mm, it could be. Bugs. I think it is. It smells I think it is. It's like a Belgian beer or something. Ooh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. The cocoa nibs, yes. Mmm, that is a weird tasting beer. That is I not like. what I expected. Yeah, not... I get the I get the bourbon thing, bourbon barrel thing. I don't get a lot of pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, I think the chocolate might mm -hmm. overpower yeah. it or something. But I'm not complaining. I will first and foremost say, I like it. Yeah. I like the beer quite a bit. However, it does say. Pumpkin it says flavor. flavor. It says okay. pumpkin flavor. Maybe it's a very Ale brewed with pumpkin flavor. You, I don't know if it's brewed with pumpkins. We're good. Well, I okay. think this All might right. be the one. So here we go here. So, yeah, boo. Go. Boo. Has there ever been a better feeling than when you were a kid's, uh, says spiriting. spiriting. A kid's spiriting around the neighborhood in a white sheet with a bucket of candy bars? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I can think of something better. That wasn't me. But we figured if we loaded up an imperial pumpkin ale with natural chocolate flavor from cocoa nibs and stuck it in a bourbon barrel for a few months, it might come pretty close. Blue Mountain Barrel House was created by the founders of Blue Mountain Brewery in Nelson County, Virginia. The Barrel House also resides in Nelson County, where the woods are deep, the mountains are bold, and the great beer flows through the land. Try each style of our exquisite original beer. At the very bottom says, uh, this beer is alive. Please ensure it has been kept in good storage conditions. Barrel House beers are bottled with a portion of live beer and undergo bottle refermentation. The bottom layer of yeast is disturbed during handling, allowing the beer to settle upright for a few days before consumption. Extended cool cellar on this beer is possible, but drink by, the drink by the date stamped on this cork for peak flavor. As I said, Blue Mountain Barrel House in Arrington, Nelson uh, County, October 2016. October 2016 is the best buy. It, it, it has a very, mm -hmm. it has a very, like, Belgian double in bourbon barrel type thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's really tasty. It is good. I like it a lot. If you're expecting a pumpkin beer, I would look elsewhere. I, I, the, yeah. you, you're absolutely right. The bourbon is there. Yeah, bourbon is... Uh, I would think it less weird if this were to say bourbon barrel ale and not mention pumpkin, although I might be going, there might be a hint to something, but I would be... I would be less surprised than if it just said pumpkin ale. Basically, it's more bourbon ale yeah. than it is pumpkin. Well, I think, you, right. I think you just said it there in that... You just said, oh, maybe there's a hint of something, we'll see that, but you just said it. Right. You have to search for the pumpkin. Mm. I don't personally get much, if any. There might be a hint, but 
But that's it. That's just it. There's just a hint. And okay. the, the bourbon flavor is kind of so upfront, which I like. Yes, me too. That if there was some pumpkin... It might be just gone. It, it, maybe if the bourbon barrel flavor wasn't yes. so much, there is pumpkin flavor in there. But I do like it, honestly. It's a great beer. I like it a lot. Um, I like it a lot as well. Um, it's just... Uh, I have a thing about correlation. Yeah, me too. Me too. So I'm going to rate this... Um, I'm going to rate this a seven and a half. I think under normal circumstances, I probably would have rated this to an eight to an eight and a half. Depending on the marketing. Um, I like the bottle. Yeah, I do like the I, I love the bottle. It's one of the best. Um, I think I think that I think that I would have given this yeah an eight or eight and a half. I'm going to give it a seven and a half just because there's a lack of pumpkin flavor. Um, yeah. However, the flavor that it does have, if you like the bourbon idea, the idea of cocoa nibs and all, basically to me it tastes like a Belgian double um, with a lot of bourbon-y, uh, oaky right. taste. There's so I mean, much chocolate, though, too. Like, I feel there's like... There's chocolate? I, I still think bourbon is the predominant flavor. So many, yeah. like, the first thing I taste is, like, the chocolate that, like, I used to, like, steal while my mom was baking. Like, it's, like, the... Well, that, and that's the, part of the Belgian double flavor. That, that yeah. Because like, those, those are very chocolate. Rich, like, flavors, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it does have pumpkins on the bottle, too, so... That makes you think, like, yeah. this should be a little more... I like it, though. I, it's very good. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I like it too. I think the chocolate covers up the pumpkin though. Yeah. I think it's the bourbon. Personally, I, the ladies taste chocolate and we taste bourbon. Yeah. Well, ladies taste chocolate in everything. They try to at least. That's that's their thing. They love chocolate. I can't say that. Uh, human, 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 human women. women. They they like chocolate. Human. But I can't generalize. Ooh, I'm generalizing. Ooh, you generalized. <laughs> the only way you can is. That's a bad. If they are. Powerful, beautiful, wonderful creatures. No, not creatures. Creatures! Whoa! Oh, oh, buddy boy here! Whoa! Hey, now! All right, this episode's going on the yeah, back path. Let's get some ratings. Some shit. Let's get some ratings. Seven. Oh, these Seven. people are hicks. <laughs> they probably hate me. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this isn't retweeted either. <laughs> they make it oh, I was joking. I don't know even know where they live. <laughs> well, they live in the mountains, so... Yeah, right. Well, they probably... They probably beat their wives. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, they make good beer. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an they're, eight. They're probably chivalrous people. I'm not. Uh, I'm being an, a dick over here. Yeah, you are, but that's that's kind of. Well, that's that's not unexpected. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're all well aware. <laughs> Me, you, never thought you did it. Give us a rating. Let's get on. All right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, hey, we all match. Huh? Oh yeah, some black and gray, what? black and gray and white. Oh, oh. whatever. All right. I don't, but you're wearing gray. And you're yeah, wearing a striped me. white. I got so black on. And you're black, black, anyways, black, black, and all of it. Gray. This is really just getting overboard. <laughs> this, um, I'll give it. It is very good. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. It probably would be an eight or an eight and a half if it was marketed as a bourbon barrel ale. That's that's exactly where I, that's exactly was exactly basically what I said about it. You know, it was was just that. Mm. It's the it's about what it says that it is for me. That that not. But as long as you're not expecting yep. a pumpkin ale, it's very tasty. it's very good. So the spooky uh, Blue Mountain Barrel House spooky ale brewed with pumpkin flavor. So they say cocoa nibs and Asian bourbon barrels. It has a an eight. A seven mm -hmm. and two seven and a halves, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else to add? Nope. All right. Taste Store will be back. We thank you for joining us. Please join us again on another episode. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. Have a hoy of it. No hoy of it. <laughs>